Hello everyone, and today we're going to be making a DIY BB-8 beanie. The first thing I did is I went to the Goodwill or any other thrift store and found a white sweater. I found this really nice white sweater. Um, it was a cardigan and I decided it was soft and fluffy and it was perfect for exactly what I wanted. So I brought that home and I also made sure to get some orange, gray, and black belts. Now I decided to make this as a gift so I actually measured the size of my friend's head and I measured that out with the length of the sweater. Um, it had quite a bit of stretch to it so I cut down about two inches off of the measurement just so that it would wrap around her head tight and stay on. From there I cut up about maybe 12 or 13 inches from the top on both sides and cut across the top so that I had one long rectangle of fabric. From there, I folded it into three, so I folded it, you know, tri-fold style in one this way, in one this way, and I took some scissors and I rounded off the top. After that was done, now it was time to assemble everything. So the first thing I did was I folded it in half so that the two ends lay right sides together and I sewed up that line. And also from there you can sew all the way to the top point of the dome but don't go past that. Once that's done, I folded it back ways so that there's one long panel on the front and both panels in the back and the arch matches up on both points. After that was all done I was able to uh, flip the hat inside out and I had a complete hat. So now we have this hat, now it was time to make it look like BB-8. So what I ended up doing, hello, what I did is I used the orange, gray, and black belt to cut out a number of shapes. For the black belt, I cut out a bigger black circle and a littler black circle. For the orange, I made that circle with like the four points in the middle. I also suggest using a reference image before putting these together just so that it looks the way that you want. Uh, I also made three orange rectangles out of the... Uh, Oh. Out of the gray ones, I just kind of made a variety of different things. I ended up going with a half circle, a half circle with a couple of notches cut out of it, hi baby, and also just a couple of random square um, angular blocks that I put inside one of the orange circles. After all that was done, I started placing it on the beanie. I made the top rounded portion the head, so I put the two black circles up there, like that, um, and the three orange rectangles, two on one side, hi, two on one side and one on the other so that it makes the separation between the two, um, the bottom half and the top half because there won't be anything otherwise. From there, I put the rest of my orange circles and gray pieces below those uh, orange rectangles to make the bottom portion of BB-8. So I put the little circles, I put the gray things inside of the circles, um, and I kind of moved them around to figure out where I wanted them. I put pretty much all of them on the front. One of them actually um, fell over onto the back side, that's okay. I decided not to put anything on the back lest the hat get a little too bulky or difficult to store. So from there, there's a couple of options for what to do. So I ended up using hot glue and hot gluing everything down. Um, I know they have fabric glue hot glue guns that I would recommend for this project that should work just fine. Um, 
or you can hand stitch it on with a matching thread. Overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I know she thinks it's really cute. My friend does that. I gave it to. So hopefully this is something that you will enjoy. Even if you don't want the BB-8 part, there's always a little beanie tutorial for, you know, something nice and average if you have a little bit of extra fabric going on. But yeah, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, so hopefully I'll be able to see you in my next video. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!